Hey gang, so I uh, stopped at Walmart earlier today and uh, I was looking at the knife section and uh, I stumbled across this uh, Camillus knife. Um, it's the G hammer and uh, what stuck out, why this one stuck out to me was because I, I noticed it was designed by Daryl Ralph. Uh, now, uh, Daryl Ralph, uh, he was a uh, knife maker, uh, designer. Um, he passed away a couple years ago, um, but, uh, he's known for, uh, creating the, um, the a a AXD, uh, Cuda Max, um, uh, knife in the Ex Expendables movie. It's the knife that, uh, Jason Statham uses. And, uh, and there's a few other knife designs he's done, like, uh, he's done automatics for, uh, HTM, and, uh, he, uh, did a, designed a couple of battle songs, uh, including the M Tech Twist. Uh, so, um, anyway, uh, I usually, uh, anytime I see, um, uh, uh, knives that have, um, uh, have, they have those, and uh, have Daryl's initials on it, DDR, I usually, uh, snatch it up. Um, and, uh, in this one, it's the, um, Gun Hammer, or G Hammer, um, this, this one that was, it's from Camillus. Now, this uh, type of knife, the gun hammer knife design, this already uh, a few other knife a few other knife companies have come out with this pretty much this exact same knife. Uh, uh, I know uh, Meyer Co. They've uh, they put out a version of this uh, years ago, um, and I think uh, Kaiser might have uh, did one. It's the it's this type of uh, this type of textured handle with the uh, flipper that has the hole in it and the uh, curved blade with these holes um so um yeah now the camillus uh the camillus of today is really nothing like the camillus uh the older camillus from years back uh camillus they were a knife company uh, based out of uh new york and um uh they uh got ended up getting bought out by a conglomerate uh it was i think acme united corporation i think is who bought them and ever since then they've pretty much been budget a budget knife in uh, uh in walmart stores um uh you know uh quality is kind of hit or miss when it comes to them um anyway this this knife it uh, it seems quality on this this seems pretty decent i mean it has a really nice edge and um this one the uh yeah the 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 blade is 420 uh it's um a glass filled nylon handle and it's a bearing flipper uh it's it's a uh, uh it's a manual flipper on uh bearings and uh it's pretty pretty smooth opening it has and uh also has thumb studs yeah, and um, so I do have a few other, uh, I do have a couple other Daryl Ralph knives. I have a, uh, there's a fixed blade I have from Meyer Co. that has a, it's a gut hook fish knife uh, that he designed. And I have a, I think I have another uh, a knife of his that he designed uh, from uh, Blackjack Knives. Um, it's a, it's an assisted opener. It's, uh, I, I, I don't know where I, uh, I, those are buried somewhere. I, I really am not. I uh, can't remember where I uh, where I put those at the moment, but uh, anyway, uh, I do have a couple original Camillus knives uh, that um, they made uh, before uh, they uh, were bought out by Acme. Um, a couple original New York made uh, Camillus knives, and um, actually, if you'll give me a, a second, uh, I actually have one uh, actually up here. Uh, it's, uh, I have this old Camillus knife. It's, uh, I'm not sure, sure when this one's from, but, uh, it's an old hunting knife. And, uh, has the original paperwork here. As you can tell, this, this box, it's, it's, it's pretty old. So, yeah, it has this, uh, leather sheath. So, um, yeah, and it's, uh, the Prolon. Yeah, Betasan 4E. It's Camillus USA number 1012, and here has the original 
paperwork manual, uh, yeah, uh, manufacturers and quality cutlery uh, since 1876, Camillus Cutlery Company, uh, Camillus, New York. And um, in here, this thing, it uh, has like some like uh, like like some little instructional tips, like on how to how to uh, uh, how to it has uh, uh, you know has some uh, tells you how to take care of the knife, uh, like and like how to sharp you know how uh, how to hone, how to proper hone the what what angles and uh, and how to use it and. Um, and uh, yeah, so this um, yeah, and I found this at a uh, antique shop like about four or five years ago, and um, so I'm, I'm uh, it was a pretty lucky find, and it wasn't didn't cost that much. I mean, I'm I mean I can imagine these are probably worth a lot more now. You know, these original Camillus. Uh, U.S. made knives. Um, you know, it's uh, un unfortunately now everything that they uh, that's from Camillus now is from China, and it's uh, sold in uh, uh, it's sold at a whole Walmart's. You know, at like really um, you know really cheap prices. But um, anyway, um, so uh, I I mean there are some good ones that they make. I mean they're not all bad. I mean I do have uh, a. a Kukri uh, from uh, a Walmart Camillus Kukri that's actually pretty decent actually at uh, clearing brush. I mean it's uh, kind of like it's pretty stout. I mean it's like it's not quite a, like cold steel, but uh, it um, it it gets gets the work done that you need done. And um, uh, yeah, and there's another machete that I have, and I, and uh, so um, anyway, but um, so uh, you know. Um, so as far as Camillus, as as the Camillus knives that are out there f uh, today from um, uh, the ones you can get at Walmart, um, as far as those go, well, this this one is this one's pretty nice. Yeah, this is definitely one of the better ones, I must say. And um, yeah, um, and so um, and there's um, yeah, and probably this one. There's a few other uh, things I'll probably be a few other knives I'll probably be getting from Walmart this month. Um, yeah, probably I might get the uh, Swiss Tech Stollern uh, fixed blade they have, and uh, the uh, possibly the Kershaw Oblivion. And um, so yeah, their their selection. Yeah, like I I said as I said in a previous video for the fall. Anyway, it seems like it's uh, it's pretty the new selection. It's it's uh, it's pretty pretty decent. So. Um, and anyway, that's that for the um, the Camillus uh, uh, Gunhammer Daryl Ralph. Enjoy.